Hi, I'm Paige Pierce with Sportsman's Warehouse, and today I want to talk to you about the three types of releases. So the first one we're going to talk about is an index style release or a wrist strap release. The first thing you're going to do is go ahead and attach it to your wrist. Now my recommendation would be to make sure you have a strap that you can put in a repeatable position. If one time it's tight and the next time it's loose, it will effectively change your draw length. So make sure you have, like this for example, a leather buckle, that way you can put it in the same hole every time. Once it's attached to your wrist, you can go ahead and hook the release on your D-loop. As you draw, you can see my arm is in a nice flat position. I'm gonna anchor in. Now, one common issue that I see people have with an index finger release is that their thumb is always in the way as they anchor in. So for a nice comfortable position, go ahead and take that thumb and drop it right below your jawbone, which is going to allow you to get that release nice and tight right up against your cheek. Now the next thing you're gonna do is wrap your index finger on the trigger. This is very important. If you're somebody that's struggling with target panic or punching the release, you wanna make sure that you don't go from this position to hitting the trigger. Comfortably wrap your finger and then slowly apply pressure through the shot until the release fires. Now that's the proper way to shoot an index style release. And again, this release is a very easy style to eventually develop target panic. So it's very important that you make sure you touch your finger to the trigger. That way you're not going to battle any of those really bad punches or flinches with this style release. Now, this is probably the most common style release among hunters and it's been around for a very long time. So if you're getting into archery, this is more than likely the style release that you are going to start with. And just remember, slow and steady wins the race. Try not to punch that trigger. Otherwise, like I said, you don't wanna end up battling target panic in the future. Now the next style release that I'm gonna to touch on is a thumb button release. It's a little bit different because you actually hold this release in your hand. So you go ahead and attach the hook to the D-loop like that. And then you can see when I go to draw back, my arm is actually gonna be turned a little bit different position than with the wrist strap release. But as I pull, I'm gonna go ahead and anchor in like this. The key is to keep your fingers and your wrist nice and relaxed as you anchor in. And then I'm gonna go ahead and wrap my thumb around the trigger. Now this release does have a trigger, just like the wrist strap release. So I'm gonna be very careful as I wrap my thumb, make sure I have nice contact on that thumb barrel. And then I'm gonna go ahead and just pull through to execute my shot. This style release is a little bit more high tech than the wrist strap release, and you are less likely to punch it because you are triggering this release with your thumb instead of your pointer finger. But because it still has a trigger, you are able to punch this release. So once again, make sure you have nice, solid thumb contact on that trigger before you go to execute the shot. So again, full contact, and then pull through the shot like that. Now, the third style release that I wanna to talk to you guys about is a hinge release. And what makes this release so unique compared to the other two is that it doesn't have a trigger. There is no trigger on this release that you can hit the release and make it fire. It works on a sear system and fires as the release rotates like that. So, when you go to draw a hinge, it's important that you keep the release cocked forward like this, that way it won't fire. Once I anchor in, I'm gonna go ahead and drop my thumb, which allows that release to rotate, and I'm gonna to continue to pull through the shot until the release fires. If you have target panic, this is the best possible way that you can help break your target panic because it's gonna keep your shot honest, you're not able to punch the trigger, and it's gonna teach you proper back tension. So, even if you're a hunter and you don't wanna use this in the field, this is an incredible tool for you to use and train with at home. I really hope that that helps you understand the three types of releases and why each of them is so important. If you would like to check any of these out, please head into your local sportsman's warehouse and they'll be able to get you set up.